Damages from hurricanes and uh, windstorm events represent a loss of several billions of dollars in the U.S. every year. In 2004 and 2005, we saw an unprecedented wave of hurricanes, including the infamous Hurricane Katrina that caused a great deal of damage and destruction. With the effect of global warming, unfortunately, these events are only expected to become more and more frequent. And this uh, shows how vulnerable we still are in the face of such natural disasters. In this cooperative research, we try to uh, make a contribution to the global efforts made to understand the complicated uh, and complex wind effects on buildings and structures, and basically uh, in an effort to help improve the quality of design and construction. I worked with an internationally known building research center CSTB, Center for Building Science and Technology in France. I cooperated with the Department of Aerodynamics and Climatic Engineering at the Research Center of NOT. Uh, reduced scale home models of different shapes and architectural configurations were tested in the wind tunnel facility at CSTB. Testing and research results showed um, basically some important findings that led researchers there to develop a concept for a cyclonic or um, hurricane resistant home which um, is designed basically to incorporate some aerodynamic features expected to reduce uh, wind effects and wind pressures on homes. My role in this cooperative research was to focus on the structural and construction aspect of the design of this uh, hurricane resistant home to develop basically some design guidelines and recommendations for its design and construction. Some of the most important structural guidelines relate to basically connections and details. Connections are very important and they have to be strong because failures often happen at the connections. For example, connections between walls, connections between walls and roof, connection between walls and foundation. Some examples of uh, recommended connections are given in the research reports. Two different structural systems were basically treated in this research. A light wood framing, which is very common in the United States, and the second type of structural system is basically a masonry concrete construction the most important findings of the testing, we could say the following. A home of a square floor plan, or even better, of an octagonal or hexagonal shape with a roof that has multiple slopes, let's say four slopes or more, perform better compared to a roof with two slopes. This is what we call a gable roof. However, it is important to note that gable roofs are more common because uh, they are basically less expensive to build. Researchers found that uh, the best angle for the roof slope is about 30 degrees. The concept of a cyclonic or hurricane resistant home consists of an elevated structure on a braced open foundation, a foundation that is on piles or posts, and this is in order to reduce the risk from flooding and hurricane driven waters. The home is equipped with some aerodynamic features that are designed to alleviate wind pressures on the roof. Uh, one of the most important features is a central shaft at the highest depression point, which is the ridge. And the central shaft would basically function by balancing internal and external pressures. Our research shows that a typical home designed as suggested in this research and equipped with all these aerodynamic features would be able to resist wind speeds that are practically the double of the wind speeds known to trigger a failure on a standard home roof. CSTB researchers at this point are in contact with a developer on the island of Reunion in the southern Indian Ocean. They're trying to build a prototype of this cyclonic or hurricane resistant home. And any U.S. builder who would be interested in such a project and building a prototype of this home would also be welcome.